affirming relationship with him. Well, I think what happened in my father's life is he was, uh, because of his personality, having a lot of people who were friends of the family, friends of mom and dad together, but no men that would sit on the porch and just talk as guys, and no men that would talk about uh, all the battles that men had faced individually with lust and temptation or any of that kind of thing. There was never, I bet dad never had a, one private conversation with another man. And so it was cut off from him was this idea that you could actually have a relationship with another man starting. Hey. Okay. I know, my guy. I've been following the Because you told me last time, you were like, yeah, because it's going to be good for me, and you told me because everybody else did. And not everybody else. Well, you know what, maybe I am everybody else. I I am everybody else. And when there's a sexual addiction that begins in his life, a stronghold that the enemy starts bringing into his life, and it culminates in him hurting someone. And this thing has bubbled to the surface, and it's going to come out. And either he gets to tell the story, or somebody else is going to tell the story. And he said, no, it's time for me to speak. It's time for me to tell the story. Let's look. Let's look to the future. I need another picture on it. You got to see the face on this one. Hey, no. Pick one. Ellie. <laughs> Yeah, that's all that really matters. Yeah. 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 